Acting Kenya Medical Supplies Authority CEO Dr. Andrew Mulwa told the Senate Health Committee today that he did not receive an advisory memo revealing missing specifications in the bungled 3.7 billion mosquito net supply tender. The head of division of the National Malaria Program, Dr. Ahmedin Omar, however, insisted that he sent the memo to his then boss, Lilian Muli Asmo. Appearing before the Senate Health Committee for the second time, it emerged that acting CAMSA CEO Dr. Andrew Mulwa received a memo from Head of Malaria Division Ahmedin Omar communicating that there was an omission on specifications of the mosquito nets in the tender. I know that the specification on the advertisement is missing one line item, the PPO as compared to the specification that were submitted together with our memo to Dr. Murua. I then uh, informed my director, Dr. Murua, of the same, and we had a discussion, and he advised me to write to him an advisory memo detailing the same. There was no response from the then acting medical service and promotive health director to the advisory memo. Is it true that Dr. Omar approached you on this matter of missing spec and you advised him to write? Yes, Denver, and I've written that in my submission, Chair. He did, as he had, uh, as I had advised him, but this memo did not pass through my office not the office of Dr. Nazila. We have checked the register. The head of malaria division further said he had never directly communicated to the former health PS, Josephine Mburu, raising questions on how the advisory memo on missing specifications did not land on Mullah's desk, but was instead forwarded to the PS. It is clear that the PS did not just wake up and write to Kemsa. I never wrote anything to the appeals principal secretary according to our channel of communication as the head of malaria program. I can, I directly, uh, my memos go to only and only director, preventive, promotive. Dr. Dr. Omar was also asked to explain why he included PBO, piperonyl batoxide, in the specifications, despite it not being a requirement by the donor. I think we should have just let the specification as close. That was my opinion, but my seniors had a different opinion, maybe. That's why it was checked at whatever level. Failure to adhere to specifications was among the issues raised by the Global Fund, which led to the cancellation of the tender. At the time, Chair, the Ministry had undergone some reorganization and restructuring. And therefore, at the time that uh, this communication from Global Fund was coming, I was not responsible for malaria. The committee also questioned the miscommunication at the Ministry of Health. The Senate Health Committee is investigating the bungled procurement process for the supply of treated mosquito nets worth 3.7 billion shillings. Lillian Muli, Citizen TV.